Scan. Our next guest designs, manufactures, and markets chipsets and video cards for use in desktop, laptop, digital set-top boxes, TV, and media gateways. He's the senior product manager with AMD, Ian McNaughton. Ian, welcome into tomorrow. How you doing? Good, Dave. You? Oh, uh, doing fine. We're just gearing up for three weeks worth of coverage here of CES. It's pretty awesome already. It is actually. Just just a point of clarification. We also make CPUs for PCs as well. Well, that's very true. I'm gonna have to talk to our PR people about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just slap them around. You know how they are. Yeah. So, <laughs> AMD, of course, recently announced its Spider platform for yes. gaming enthusiasts, and I understand yes. that you're one of AMD's gaming experts. So it's nice to have those in-house gaming experts. What drew you to developing products specifically? for gaming? Well, you know, it, it was the first Atari uh, console when I was a kid. And from there, it's just, it's all history. So, really? you know, it's, uh, I, I travel the world and I get to talk to a lot of gamers who are 16, 20, 25 years old, 30 years old, 35 years old, and, and I have the absolute best job in the world. So, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's exciting. I get to do cutting edge technology. I get to work with consumers. I get to work with gamers, game developers. I, I couldn't ask for more. I'll bet a lot of folks at AMD are very envious of your position because you not only really love what you do, but you literally play games and have fun doing it. Well, you know, being able to use the technology that, that you're developing is something that's special. And it's, uh, it's like driving the Ferrari as you're building it. And it's, uh, it, you know what, it, it's envious? I'm not sure. Those, those six and eight and ten hour uh, Supreme Commander uh, uh, tournaments and whatnot are... Yeah, they're tough. The, you know... <laughs> I don't know if any, everyone's up for it, but I, I enjoy it. Tell us a little bit about this Spider platform and, and what features specifically that it has, especially for design that are designed mostly for gaming. Then, uh, yeah, you know what, Spider is is really uh, it's 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 a, a mainstream enthusiast type platform. It really scales to to budget. We have CPUs that are priced appropriately for the mainstream space as well as enthusiasts. It's quad core. Um, it's really cutting edge technology with uh, with native quad core. Um, on on dial three cache, it's got our HD thirty eight seventy graphics cards. Um, it's everything in it is brand new. Everything it is we've launched in the last sixty days. Wow. It's got the industry leading leading chipsets. It's uh, our uh, our FX seven ninety chipsets. Actually, it's seven ninety FX chipsets. Um, you know what? Everything about it is brand new, and everything it is cutting edge. So it's uh, it's everything a gamer could possibly want at an affordable price. And that's pretty cool because it's not all that often, it seems to me, that you get a machine that truly has everything in it that's new. I mean, there's a lot of new stuff, new processor, new video card, new whatever, but you're using some of the technology that's available. But everything being new has got to get the gamer's attention. Well, a, a year ago, we purchased ATI Technologies up in Markham in Toronto, Ontario. And, uh, and from then, it's been a, a fury of engineering, and it's been co-engineering, where we've gotten the CPU team and the, the chipset and the GPU teams together, and this is the first result of that. And it's, and it's only the start. So we spent a year getting to the starting line, and this is the start. And you're going to see some really cool things from us in Q1, Q2, and Q3, uh, 2008. And Ian, no doubt that that's all part of AMD's strategy for the gaming market. So what other things have, have got you guys pumped to say, this is certainly an important market that you're, you're here to stay? Well, we, we have huge amounts of uh, developer relations and engineers who work with the ISVs. For, you know, games are going to launch in 2012. We're already working with them. We're already seeding them spider platforms. We're already working through the actual wireframes of the characters and making sure that it's optimized and, and the consumers are going to have a good experience. So from the onset of the ISV, the development of the game, all the way straight through to the consumer buying it on the shelf, on AMD hardware, it's going to be a good experience. And you're already planning for five years from now and what the gaming experience is going to be like so that you're geared up and ready for it? At AMD, we plan longer than five years, but, but yes. <laughs> well, that's pretty awesome. It tells, it tells those games gamers that not only is there hope, but hang in there for even cooler stuff if you think you're impressed now, right? You know, you know, Dave, if you were to say, Ian, where's gaming going? I'd sit there and say, you know, there was a show that was, uh, that was on in the 60s called Star Trek. <laughs> and they used to walk into the holodeck. <laughs> yeah. And that is the epitome. That is, that oh. is where we want to go. So, you know, it, it's really the, the ultimate visual experience. It's that, that the, the blurring the lines between what is real and what is, uh, is uh, you know, imaginary in the sense of what is... Uh, um, created by PC. So that, that's where we want to go. Holodeck brought to you by AMD. I, love I, like, it. I, I like it already. Oh, it, I can it, talk to our PR folks yeah, right now. It has <laughs> a nice ring to it. I understand also, Ian, that you're participating uh, in a digital Hollywood panel discussion tomorrow about the future of gaming in general. Can you give us some more insight as to what you think the future holds as we head into tomorrow? This is all a, a fun, cool thing, but I know you got every gamer glued to what you think is happening tomorrow. <laughs> well, you know what? I, I think that uh, where is gaming going, it, it's, it's clear that 
It's about playing with other people online. It's about the community. It's about World of Warcraft success. Um, it's about bringing gaming to the mainstream. And in the PC space, I think there's going to be, you know, if you look at an Xbox 360, it's, it's uh, essentially a PC sitting in your living room. They've done that very well. Mm -hmm. um, I think that the applications are going to start crossing between PC and console. Um, and it's going to be about massively mul multiplayer online games where you can go in and, and you assume a new character, you assume a new, a new uh, personality. And you know what, it's, it's, it's only going to get, it's, it's like Facebook. Facebook's a good example of being connected. Yeah. I think gaming is going to get to that level of being connected at the mainstream level. And you really see a whole lot of the multiplayer gaming going on. I mean, folks, it, even that perhaps haven't experienced it yet, that are going to realize this is a lot of fun. And here's a whole different community that you can build teams and do some really cool stuff. And then, of course, with the technology from AMD, have a lot more fun doing it. Well, you know what? In North America, we tend to be North America-centric. And if you look at Asia Pacific, you look at Korea, they, they, they've been massively multiplayer is what they do. That is, they we're talking about hundreds of millions of, of users. Yeah. Um, so really North America, we're just getting to that level now. We're starting to realize how much fun that is and, and how easy it is. It's not about sitting and playing a first person shooter with a gun view, it's about the immersive world. And I think that North America, we're just starting that curve, that hockey stick is starting. Whereas in Asia, it's, it's been there for a long time. So, uh, you know, with a worldwide view, that's where we're going. I think if you look at uh, massively multiplayer online is, is really where gaming is going to be. And what is your favorite end of gaming? What, what are you doing these days that you just can't tear yourself away from? Well, you know, it's... it's <laughs> <laughs> I'm a PC guy, so, you know, uh, <laughs> Supreme Commander, Chris Taylor from uh, Gas Powered Games launched Supreme Commander in February last year. I'm still playing it, but, I, and I hope no one, I, well, we, the, we power the graphics in Xbox 360, so Halo 3. Ah, of course. And, of, and no doubt that you're going to continue to be enjoying gaming well into tomorrow, but Absolutely. all about the cool stuff that's coming up around the corner as well. So do stay tuned for that. We've got to get you on more frequently and, and get a constant update about gaming. You have chocolate. I love it. Yeah, that's true. We See, we give our guests chocolate, asking you not to eat it while on the air, because <laughs> that's kind of not cool. But you're welcome to take fistfuls of it with you. Appreciate it. My pleasure. And, Ian, uh, thanks for joining us for a few minutes here, too. Ian McNaughton, Senior Product Manager with AMD. Visit amd.com. When you slide by our site, you'll have links to Ian's site and all of our guests here at CES. By the way, don't have time to wait. Get things done at Sprint Speed. Visit Sprint.com to learn more as they power the Into Tomorrow Away team here at CES. We're back with more. I'm Dave Graveline on the Advanced Media Network. The following letter was written by Technical Sergeant Jerry.